Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we write our first C++ program. First, we open up our code block IDE. You can click on here, create a new project or you can go file, new and then select project. Now select console application, then click on the go button. Here select C++ then click on the next button you have to give here a project title let's say hello world then specify the location where you want to save I would like to save it on my desktop now select desktop ok now click on the next button and then finally finish you can see here in our workspace hello world project is present and here a folder sources is also present if you open this folder you can see here a file that is main.cpp one thing i must say here every c++ file has an extension of .cpp cpp indicates c++ in c programming we use the extension .c but here we use .cpp extension now double click on this file main.cpp and you can see here some default structure of this file I am going to delete this because we learn all the things from beginning our first task is to include some header files in our program now the question is what is header file a header file is a file that contains some features or operation that are predefined which allows us to write the program easily to include header file we use preprocessor a preprocessor is a program that processes the source code before it passes to the compiler there are different types of preprocessor present but here we use has include preprocessor to include our header file so i am going to write here has symbol then write include and then within greater than and less than sign I am going to write IO stream. Here IO stream is a header file and after including this header file we can use the function or features that are included in this file so that we can use some objects like cout, scene etc which helps us to do some IO tasks one thing must be remember we are not using here any extension in C programming we use dot h extension but here we have no need to give any extension the next thing is we need to specify namespace a namespace is a declarative region where different program elements can be placed or we can say a namespace is a scope that holds global identifier since it's our first program on C++ so we are not going to details about namespace we learn it in some other tutorials you just remember we need to specify here a namespace so I am going to write here using then namespace and then std here std is a namespace where all C++ standard class libraries are defined all C++ program must include this directive this will bring all the program elements or identifier defined in std to the current program and don't forget to give here a semicolon because this is a statement and we know every C++ statement ends with a semicolon next we write the main function or the point from where program execution start in C++ program execution start from main function now the question is what is a function a function is a collection of statement that perform a particular task to define a function first we need to write its return type means the type of value returned by that function so i'm gonna write here int this indicates the function returns an integer value then we need to write the function name that is main and then a pair of parentheses within the parentheses we have to specify arguments that are taken by this function since the function main does not take any argument so leave it blank and then give a pair of curly braces 
Inside this curly vases, we write the function body. Whatever the statement we want to execute, we have to write here. Since this is our first C++ program, so we write here a simple program that prints something to the screen. To print to the screen, we use output stream, that is C out. Then give a pair of less than symbol, which is called stream insertion operator. And then within the double quote, we write something. Let's say hello world. And then give here a semicolon. Because every C++ statement ends with a semicolon. Next we need to return some values. Because here we initialize return type is int. So I am going to write here return and I return the value 0. In C++ return 0 indicates the program is executed successfully. Let's check the output. Go to build and then build and run. As you can see here it print hello world, process return 0 and execution time is 0 0.098 second. If you want, you can print here some other string. Let's say C++ programming. Let's check the output. Build and run. As you can see here, it print C++ programming. That's it. Hope you understand. See you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel Slide Hunt. And you can also like my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt.